Hello and welcome to my first video. Today we will be dehydrating some some ginger and some onions. So we're starting with the onions, chop the top off, and then cut straight through the middle. After that, you can take the peel off. So we'll be doing this in the oven today. Um, a bit later on we'll be putting the oven on about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius and this can take anything from 3 hours to overnight so you want to do this early in the morning so you can have enough time to check on it so we cut the onion like that and a few strokes down the middle Chop it as finely as you can. Try to make them all the same size so that way they all dry evenly. So we'll do that with the other onion as well. We have this all chopped up in a pan, some baking paper, and we'll keep that aside while we start with our ginger. Okay, before we start with the ginger, we we'll wipe down our surface quickly. I am making a blend, so this will all be combined into the same blend at the end. So we have the ginger there. Then we can just use a small knife and start getting rid of that peel. Okay, so now my uh, ginger is all cleaned up. You can either use a grater for this, or you can just chop it finely. I like to chop it, because you have a bit more control, and you can cut it exactly how you want it. So I'll start with some thin strips, lay them on top of each other, cut them nice and fine. this way all nice and fine now the base of my spice mix is going to be the onion that's going to be the main ingredient so I don't need as much ginger as I need onion So that's enough for the ginger, just like that, nice and fine, and then we can lay that on our tray as well. So I'm just going to start with these two because there's not a lot of space on the pan left. As you can see there's our onion and there's our ginger. So we'll put that in the oven on about 50 degrees Celsius. And we'll check up on it later. Okay, so as you can see, I took the ginger out. It's nice and hard, nice and dry. This took about an hour. Um, we're still waiting for the onions. The onions will take a bit longer. As you can see, it didn't make a lot. But I only need this much for what I want to do. So that will be perfect. Here we have the onions. As you can hear nice and crunchy and that is how you do it so now I'll just put this in the food processor blend it up and it will be all good here we go I added some garlic in there and some cinnamon sticks I ground it all up and that's the end product very flavorful very overpowering very strong right next to it we have a herb mix that I make with oregano basil some chili and a few other herbs also same method, chop it up nicely in the oven, the herbs doesn't stay as long as the onion and the garlic, the onion was in for about two and a half hours and the garlic for about an hour. So that's the end product, I hope you enjoy.